Mm. Fire away when ready. Oh, I feel like I'm back. Uh, I got like a long time to recover, and uh, just working with my teammates to get my mental back right. That's really what I'm trying to do. How difficult was that whole process last year? Sitting there dealing with those injuries and not being able to play. It was real difficult because I've never been hurt, so that was like the first time I've really been hurt where I missed time. Like I said, mentally, that's just like the hardest thing, really. But I feel like I've got my confidence back, and I feel good. Darren, you come back coming into this year feeling almost like, like this is your rookie year, or did you learn a lot last year even when you couldn't play? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's still my rookie year because I didn't play a lot. But, like, I learned a lot mentally. And uh, I feel like it's my second year, like, mentally, just knowing, like, the game and, like, all logistics. But, like, Physically, I feel like it's my rookie year again because I didn't play a lot. Knowing that they've pretty much been on record saying they expect you to be the number one guy and to lead that entire group, so is that difficult in the sense of you had the year off, but now this is what is expected of you? Uh, I mean, it's going to be challenging. I don't feel like it's going to be that difficult, though. I feel like I can lead by example more than just vocally. Karen, everybody, the way NFL treats injuries, a lot of stuff isn't released and information we don't have. So can you clear up at all exactly what happened with yeah, I mean, it just lingered. Uh, we thought it would get back better by like taking reps off, but it just kept getting worse. So I just fixed it. Did you have to have surgery? Or? Yeah, I had surgery. What has it been like uh, getting used to obviously a, a bunch of different guys around you in the cornerback room? What has that been just kind of meeting with those guys? Getting used to yeah, I mean, it's just like college when you get a new set of guys, you get a new room. Uh, when people leave, so I feel like I can always cope with people. When you got people that are on the same mission, got the same goals or similar goals, like it's kind of easy to cope with. When you go through such a challenging year like last year was, just adversity, mm -hmm. what do you learn just about people in your life, you know, who's there for you through the tough times? And I guess what did you learn from that standpoint as you work through some of those issues? Honestly, I feel like what I learned is. There are people there for you, but at the end of the day, you got to be there for yourself because you're the only one that can mentally prepare yourself to come back from something. When you did come back um, after training camp, just the, the second day of the season, did you feel like you were fully ready to be back, like when you were yourself, or did you still not feel right at that point? No, I didn't feel right. And I feel like that played a part in lingering injury, too, because mentally I wasn't there all the way. The, the Jets game, I think it was, was a pretty strong game for you, it seemed like. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like I played all right, but I feel like I could have played way better. Like, watching film, like, I had a couple good plays, but I had a lot of bad plays, too. How does this defense suit you? Uh, I feel like it suits me well. We play press a lot, just like I did in college. I mean, that's basically the defense for the corners, play press man, lock your man down. What's been your whole observation of the whole vibe here with the new coaching staff and just kind of the direction that they're going? Uh, they're all in, and there's no blaming and complaining or anything. We handle ours and take responsibility for everything and hold everybody accountable to the highest standard. Yeah, after seeing a team last year that had been in the playoffs the year before wind up going 6-10 and ten and kind of you know, not finish anywhere near what they wanted to be, did you learn from that too? Yeah, definitely. Uh, just seeing the way like the whole thing was just set up, like it wasn't how we are now. People weren't all together as one. Everybody was like kind of just in their own lane. Like I feel like we're all in one lane right now. And besides even the, the injury part of it, I mean, Ohio State man, you didn't lose very many games. Yeah. So to be on a team that all of a sudden was losing games, is that part of a hard part too? Yeah. I mean, you go from a winning program and then that you see the difference. You see why it happened. You know why it happened because you were on a winning team. So you know what it takes to win and why you lost. Any specific reason for changing from 22 to 21? Melvin asked for 22. 21 was my high school number, though. Not to get too much into it, it really doesn't matter too much now, but the shin injury, did it happen at mini camp last year? Was it OTA or something before? When did that first surface? Yeah, it was like around that same time. A couple more guys. Aiden, you said you've never been injured, so there was a bat, a surgery. Were there times of doubt? Who, who took you through that part of it? Guys who had been injured before, who had gone through that? Like, who kind of led you through that for a guy who had never been injured? Yeah, I mean, I just talked to, like, multiple people. Like, Carl, he said he got hurt last year, or his rookie year. 
And then uh, I actually talked to my teammate from college, Marshawn, because he had a lot of hamstring problems. And I just like talked to people that I knew who got hurt and asked them what did they do to like come back from it. Do you look at this year as a year to, to, to get out there and, and, and prove people wrong and have a chip on your shoulder? Or are you just worried about yourself and not worried about any of that stuff? I mean, I'm not worried about it. Of course, I take it into account. Like I have a chip on my shoulder. I don't really try to prove people wrong, though. I'm really like worried about myself and like getting back mentally. You got Frosty Betson and, and Hall and Melvin and Gilchrist. What's your first impression on those guys? What have they brought to the mix this year? They bring a lot to it. They're all in. Like I said, like we all are on on the same page. And when you're all on the same page and you can talk to people, like we talk about football on and off the field, like regular conversation. And when you're always talking about things that get better, like you always like have that teammate that you can talk to about anything. like. Personal and on the football level, it just like elevates your game. Rashawn has spoken about the expectations he has for himself, you know, wanting to show he's a top cornerback in this league. Yeah. What does that do when you play across a guy like that? And I imagine it's going both ways where you have some high goals as well for your own play. Yeah, it just challenges you, makes you compete harder, and just trying to be the best, like, that's going to like make your game better. Last one. All set. Thanks, guys.